Hello everyone, and welcome <laughs> to the Pony Factory, that music. A game which, as soon as it was suggested, I obviously had to check it out out of curiosity from the title alone. Now from what I understand, this is actually supposed to be kinda goofy. Well, but who knows, maybe the sight of rotting skeletal carcasses on the edge of a flickering light in black and white will nevertheless evoke some creepiness. When I launch it from Steam, there's an option to play the improved or the original version. I'm playing the improved version, but I'm not sure what the differences are. However, if we look in the top left, uh, it seems like there are some other modes as well. I believe this isn't supposed to be that long, so who knows, we'll check it out. Winston arrived at a solution to the moral decay of his town. He called out to Hell in a secret candlelit room one evening, and Hell answered him. The human body could, Hell promised, be twisted, stretched, and broken into a kinder, more equine shape. The human heart molded into something less human. Winston's town, now filled with the cruel and ignorant, could instead be filled with magic ponies. If he could provide a factory in which to make them, Winston thought they could be beautiful, gentle, and good. Hell had other plans. And here we are. Uh, I see we've got the 2013 Unity Horror Game style of architecture. Uh, okay, if we left click, we receive a click. So we've got health, but no ammo, you can see on the bottom. Oh, wait, can you read that? We can. Okay, so we've got to keep an eye out for notes. Notice to all employees. Review your timetable at the end of each Friday, as shifts may change or be redistributed from week to week, and staff turnover may vary significantly as sinners are identified and corralled. Similarly, each Monday before clocking in, you must report to the security wing for moral examination. Employees with a sin rating of .07 or higher will not be permitted to enter until they have become more chaste. Failing multiple examinations may be grounds for termination. So does termination in this case equal ponification? Employees are also required to remain virtuous in our site throughout the work week. The interior ambient sin level may not exceed 7% of the facility's total moral fiber. Management will be making every effort to insulate this facility from the outside hedonism, and exterior sin levels are expected to drop as more of the population are changed into magical ponies. Right away, there's something really charming about taking something as ridiculous as this and taking it absolutely seriously. Even still, I do personally find the image of rotting creatures to be pretty creepy, especially with such skull shapes. I don't know, maybe it's because I had a dream like that once, but we seem to be in some sort of basement. But I guess whatever happened has already happened, because it seems like the Pony Factory is in full swing and has been for some time. And here is our Deponifier. The Maximalist V4 Automatic Bolt Gun. Traditionally, livestock is dispatched one at a time at close range. But our studies have found that this method is inefficient for the rapid harvesting of horse parts necessary for the mass production of magical ponies. A faster, more reliable method is needed. To this end, we have developed the Maximalist V4 Automatic Bolt Gun, or ABG V4, boasting the accuracy and fire rate of a military assault rifle, a 40 round capacity, and ergonomic magazine design for quick reloading. This tool makes it easy to kill or incapacitate multiple animals in rapid succession from any range. Uh, yeah, that's right. You had to source the pony parts from somewhere, huh? Established. Legitimately creepy. Now, is that ammo finite? Or is it just when we run out, we reload and we're good? Uh, there's a path down here. Look for the unlocked door to complete each area. 
So there will only be one. The black and white does make it a little bit difficult to see at times. But I guess that's the idea. The high contrast and terrifying enemies. Hold left to fire the bulk gun. R to reload. Keep a lookout for ammo pickup. So that answers our question. We can only carry two magazines. Flashlight, please! Oh my god, that looks like a xenomorph! And they explode into a blood shower when killed! Alright, let's get ready to put them all down. Just pretend they've all got badly broken legs and this is the only way. I mean, we should be fine here forever, right? Just let them walk through the electrical traps. Notice to all employees. We have identified a number of minor leaks in the liquid lightning holding tanks. Liquid lightning is the main catalyst in the process of whimsical flaying. While management assures us that lightning cannot travel through the air. Physical contact with any visible pools of lightning on the ground could expose you to dangerous levels of electrical skin-peeling whimsy. Please use the utmost care when moving through affected areas until the maintenance staff are able to fashion a mop capable of absorbing electricity. Okay, I see where this game stands in its tone. Hold shift to walk slowly. Can we kill the power? Nope, we just gotta skirt around. Eh, I do not want to be whimsically flayed. We're whimsically flayed? Is whimsically a word? I feel like that kind of thing is important to know when you're dealing with cursed ponies. Eh. I cannot see a thing. Navigating purely by flashes here. Uh, pick up medkits to regain lost health. Okay, that's what a medkit looks like. Oh my god. Ow! Killed it. That took 20% of health. Notice to all employees. Please use caution and respect when circumnavigating the precarious death pit. And remember that it is here for your safety. Explain how, please. If the sins outside become so great and so numerous as to evoke the wrath of God, the precarious death pit can be jumped into to ensure a quick and fatal escape from divine retribution. Okay, well, we may still need to keep that in our back pocket then. Oh, my God. oh God. <laughs> so the muzzle flashes are actually a viable form of lighting. That's funny. Did I say funny? I meant horrifying. Got the sounds these things make in the dark. You're not going to be able to see anything. There we go. Thank you. Press right mouse button to swap between the bolt gun and the flashlight. We've got to choose. that. Wait. Make sure we're topped off. And see what we've got. Them some bones. If you're running low, you can backtrack to search for hidden health and ammo. Yeah, we'll want to top off wherever we can, I'd imagine. Maybe I should have waited to use that health. Might be a good idea to leave it. I mean, I don't know how much it heals, but it might be a good idea to leave stuff like this until we're ready to end it, or when we absolutely need it. Okay, out we go. There's health back here, which we'll leave.
God, that is so crazy that it actually wants us to put ourselves in darkness and then light our path with violence when you guys show up. More ammo here. And here. God, that is terrifying, but it's honestly, it's a really cool idea for a mechanic. And being able to do it at a click of a button makes it easier, too. There's some health. Come on. If you back into a corner, there's little you can do about it, though. And you guys take a punch. What is that? Some kind of ranged attack? Alright, let's uh, grab some ammo. Where was that? Thank you. Got 60 health. You guys are definitely dangerous enough to be a problem for me. Okay, yeah, no, it's actually, it's being really generous, but that might change. My fellow creators. I will try to answer the many questions I've received as quickly and thoroughly as possible, but I'm sure you'll understand that I am merely human, and addressing all your concerns will take time. That said, regarding dress codes, employees are reminded that no religious iconography of any kind may be worn in the workplace. As the management is hell itself, such displays go against our fundamental company values. Winston the CEO. Don't you try and run for me. Kind of- oh my god! Yeah, once again, these things look a lot more like discount xenomorphs than ponies. Alright, we should... if that's the level clear, then we should go back and collect all we can before we even think about- okay, so it's more than 20 ammo before we even think about moving on. I should also be looking for more notes, too, while we're at it. They can be hard to spot. Twenty-five. Health heals twenty-five. There we go. Let's be ready for anything. Spotting them at a... Distance is going to be crucial. Here you go. Yeah, this is going to get a bit more difficult. <laughs> I see you. You running around in the dark. Okay, you're fast, but you don't seem to have a lot of health unless we hit you a bunch in that first volley. Yeah, when you gang up like that, then you're gonna be a bit more of a challenge. That ammo actually gives us a lot back, so we should be taking it less frequently. God, I can still hear more of you. Must be right around the corner. Listen, I don't care how you do it, Shoot them, stomp them, hit them with a big stick. I don't care. If you see a squirrel in here, it dies. No exceptions. I don't know how they're getting in, and I don't know how in the name of hell itself they're so organized, but they are organized, and they seem to be targeting our machines and infrastructure specifically. I'm well aware of how insane this sounds, but the squirrels want to destroy this facility before we've even finished a single pony. Stop them. Winston, the CEO. Winston, are you the protagonist from Squirrel Stapler by any chance? Highly religious, tormented by these animals? Fire in bursts to maintain accuracy or get up close. Oop. 
this environment and this enemy movement is kind of reminding me of Stalker. Ow. Okay, getting up close is actually viable for you guys, because this is kind of hard to do. There we go. Wow, that was like all of our health and ammo. Thank you. Found some hidden health, which helps us. Brandon. I know this job can get repetitive, and when you get bored, you make mistakes, so remember the 4 plus 1, 4 is 0 trick. Four hooves and one skull go to the pony maker, where they will be grafted onto a fully prepped sinner by way of Hell's pony magic. Then four hooves to the glue maker, where they will be processed into pungent glue, the fumes of which are pumped throughout the facility to encourage everyone to remain in the proper headspace. And the remaining skull gets thrown in the incinerator. Got all that? Four hooves and a skull to the pony maker, four more hooves to the glue maker, one skull to the incinerator, and one ring to rule them all. It's as easy as drinking to forget. And with what they're doing to the air here, it seems like it's more or less the same. Another document here. My fellow creators, in just one month, the Pony Maker will be finished, and we will be activating the current stock and swinging into full production. This will naturally require us to increase the rate and reliability of our center acquisition, since the townsfolk are proving significantly harder to acquire now that our activities are widely known. Several assembly lines will be immediately transitioned over to the building of the Pony Tank. The Pony Tank. This ingenious hoof-powered weapon of war, adapted from sketches by the great inventor Frid <laughs> Friedrich Flintstone, will allow multiple ponies to chase down wayward sinners from within the protection of a great pony head and to hurl magic projectiles if the situation should call for it. It'll be great. Please refer to the new posted schedules for new shift assignments. Winston, the CEO. It's a pony-powered Flintstones car from hell. This is a unique game. There aren't other games like it, is what I'm saying. Use cover to avoid projectile damage. Yep. Problem. You guys decided to be annoying. There we go. Oh no, I fell down. Right, there we go. Anybody else? Okay, you guys try and run towards me and get zapped, please. If we commit, like really commit to getting our rounds on you instead of trying to dodge and shoot, I think we might actually be able to kill you a little bit faster. You also, you stop when you're hit. You stop and try to retaliate. So that also helps. Alright, I'm guessing that that's probably going to be the way out. So we might as well collect all we need. Now you did say that we could backtrack. No. You only mean within a level. I mean, when you go to fire and the flash reveals that you're standing directly in front of me, that's really something. <laughs> I think it's the kind of game where you're almost intended to laugh at yourself for actually getting spooked. In the glow from that grate, I could just barely see you skipping along the hallway, whimsically. Hopping along your merry way. Okay, more stuff down there. Yeah, this really 
feels like a 90s shooter. Imagine trying to explain the existence of this game to somebody in the 90s. Really, I always think of, like, you know, how much our heads would explode if back in the day we knew just what games would become and also just the variety and the lack of oversight there would be in what gets out there, you know, of anybody being able to put a game out if they just have the dedication. And I'm not complaining. I mean, you really can't say there's not something for everyone. Any ammo. I just realized I could actually use a bit more. All these shelves and no ammo, that's crazy. We're heading downstairs. This feels a lot like that one SCP. Oh god. Are these the bones of the staff or are these things shedding? Either one sounds like it could be plausible. This is a very big room. Mark, I have received your concerns. As you know, there is an immense amount of excess sin extracted during our processing, and all that sin needs to go somewhere. To that end, a specialized pipeline carries the sin from this facility out into the forest, where it harmlessly percolates into the groundwater supply. I understand from your report that the sin levels in the same forest recently spiked for no discernible reason, but management assures me that this spike is most likely a natural phenomenon, and is certainly unrelated to our waste sin pipeline. I agree with this, and will further add that my estranged son's company is currently performing an extended observation and spiritual analysis of the forest, which could certainly be causing untold sorts of depraved abnormalities. I am confident in our mission and leadership, and I don't believe this event is any cause for alarm. Thank you for remaining diligent in your work. Winston the CEO. Ah uh, yes, what could be happening in this general area that may have caused a sudden spike in sin? We haven't fought a pony in a while. I like it. You're taller than the others. Okay, we really, really need some ammo now. This attachment allows the bulk gun to fire faster the longer the trigger is held. Okay, so we want to keep it sustained. There's some ammo. The Maximalist Enhanced Fire Rate Module, or EFR. Attaching an additional weapon system opens up bulk gun operators to the world of special operations. Only possible now with the Maximalist Enhanced Fire Rate Module, or EFR. Whether you're facing down a deadly stampede of bloodthirsty herbivores, or you have a single piece of livestock that requires the most definitive possible treatment, this versatile modification will unlock the full potential of your ABG V4 as the ultimate in tactical long-range animal husbandry. I mean, does Australia know about this? I think they might be itching for round two in the Emu War if they got their hands on this. Okay, hitbox does not apply to your head necessarily. Oh. I like it. I sort of dig it. It discourages burst fire, but it encourages mowing down everything. If only we could fire more than 20 rounds at a time, or 40. These big rooms are my ultimate enemy. I can't see what's lurking in the dark. This reminds me so much of the creepypasta of the stairs in the doorway. Is there anything around the sides to be found? Doesn't seem so. I'd say that was a thorough enough sweep. 
color. Are we about to stumble onto Oz? Also, is there a note somewhere? Take that. We should be reloading after every encounter, make sure we're topped off. Ponies for production. Okay, hang on. We're actually going to get a chance to have a good look at them. Notice to all employees. Over the coming week, we will be installing the magic friendship energy from hell inside the Pony Maker. This marks the final step in pre-production, after which we will use the Pony Maker to activate all prepared magic ponies and swing into full production. As this energy emanates from the depths of hell itself, it casts shades of light never before seen in this dimension. If you see hues and luminosity hitherto unglimpsed by the sight of mortal man, this could signal a critical leak and should be immediately reported to your supervisor. Okay, alternate universe confirmed, I suppose. Let's have a look at you, my god. Standing up like that, you look almost humanoid. I see they've also gone for the unicorn horn. Where they're sourcing those from, I'm not sure. The thing you seek lies at the heart of the pony maker. My god. I don't remember how I got here, so I've got a bit of amnesia. But this is for sure a machine for ponies. God, look at this thing. Okay, we'll address that in a second. What have I done? The ponies. They've all gone mad. This is not magical friendship energy from the depths of hell itself at all. It is pure sin from the depths of hell itself. Twisted to resemble wonder and whimsy. How could hell betray us like this? Oh no, they are coming. No, no. Ah, ah. Well, at least he maintained his penmanship throughout. This is what you've been searching for. Take it. You have what you have come for. Now escape. Uh, okay. I mean, it couldn't be more of a MacGuffin if it tried. But I guess we've just got to do the same thing in reverse now, right? Oh, God. Does that mean the pickups won't be there anymore? Let's just hope for a lack of enemies. Never mind. Uh, there's no reason not to take all we can at this stage, right? We've just got to get out of here. Wait, where am I going? There we go. Back up the stairs. Oh no. Yep! Volume of fire, that's all we care about. A valid strategy against hell ponies. Oh no, more hues are leaking. I love that. I love how in this bleak, bleak world, magical pony colors are actually a thing of sin. You know, I actually used to really like the My Little Pony show. I, I watched it for a little bit in, like, 2013 or so. And at that time, I think season three was airing. And I was like, you know what? I, I checked it to see what the hype was about. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of nice. This is fun. Uh, and then the movie came out, and I thought that was fun, too. And then uh, the season ended. And I just kind of never really followed up after that. But <laughs> you get the idea. 
I feel like it gets a lot of undeserved hate, although the fandom probably deserves the hate. The things I saw. When the movie came out, I mean, I ended up watching it on YouTube because, like, everything was on YouTube at that point. Uh, they were talking about how they had, like, separate theaters for, like, you know, <laughs> bronies and the target audience. And my first thought was, like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> There is a lot going on out there. I want them to come to me. You slithering on the ground like a pony serpent. Yep. Pony jump scare. Yep. Can't run from me. I saw you trying to. This mechanic of, like, flashlight switching is really cool because I'm honestly not sure what's worse. Going to fire and seeing that the thing you're trying to shoot has moved closer to you? Or going to fire and seeing that it's gone and you have no idea where it got off to? Oh, wait, it's a good thing we left health. There's a lot more out here these days. We must be getting close-ish, right? Die, please. Any health, any health for us. The wibbly soundtrack is started back on. Oh no. The light of the world itself is being overtaken. They will not move after you, so it's if you get behind cover, you're fine. But you gotta know what damage you can get out in the meantime. There's a bunch of health down there. I wonder how well you could track me if I was moving. Oh no, okay. We have the high ground, and we have to take advantage. doing all that much to improve your position. So that works for us, but we've only so much ammo. There we go. Now we've got to find some ammo. Lots of it. The notes are the same. There we go. Got tons of health we can come back for. And we managed to kill a lot without taking any damage. Why am I taking this so seriously? Oh my god! Because a situation like this requires a serious operator, that's why. There we go. And there goes all our ammo again. Yeah, they're really gonna start throwing dense ponies at us now. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? This is my job. Sometimes I really have to sit back and ponder that. When I went to the bank to get this business made legit, we really struggled for a long time to figure out, like, what to call this line of work on paper. And, you know, she asked, like, uh, would you say that you're, like, an influencer? And I just flat out said no. Like, please do not write that down. Okay, there's some ammo. She asked... You wouldn't say your service is, like, adult, would you? I said, not yet. Anyway, now I'm playing Pony Factory. Oh, God. I'm actually grateful for a light of any color! Oh my God, you're a big pony! Ugh. 
There's actually a valid argument for starting with the muzzle flash and not the flashlight. Uh, health anywhere? No. We've almost made it, but I'm a little worried because we haven't died yet. And I don't know what happens when one does. Got some health. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that, actually. Should have waited till the level was complete. I'm treating it as a sprint to the end, but I should be playing it as any other level. By the way, this is the definition of padding. But I don't really mind it because it's so short to begin with, and uh, at least there's an enemy composition on the way back! I love how it's not, like, electricity conducting through puddles. It is just puddles of electricity. <laughs> I just noticed those are horseshoes on the shelves. There's the pit. <laughs> yep. Maybe I can get you to fall down the pit. Feels like it would be helpful. Didn't come down here earlier. We could heal. Could ensure a quick escape from the wrath of God. Let's heal. I feel like between those two things, healing is the one you want to try first, you know, until you've exhausted all other options. This place really has seen better days, huh? Alright, as long as we can get you in a favorable position, we can deal with you without taking damage. Still, this place has left quite a mess. Ammo. Anybody running around out there? I don't know if headshots actually do anything additional. It's really not worth trying for, honestly. Because I'd rather get the hits in and use the ammo, rather than try to be accurate firing into the dark. My health. Yep. Okay, we need to find some ammo munition. I know there's some back here. We should almost be out. More colors leaking. But we've got to be close. This is where we got our gun. We're nearing, we're nearing absolution. And there we can get some more ammo. Health right there to come back to. Just gotta make a note of these things. Final area, I think. Yep, this is where we came in. 
now lit and bright and colorful, and that's not a good thing. Oh no. Just because it's where our game started doesn't mean it's the end of the game. Come on, come after me. For more than half a second, please. I can see you moving around in front of those lights. And that's how we find you. <laughs> All right, uh, ammo. That blue door, is that all we need? Are there any other notes, more importantly? Oh god, you are stocking me up. I get the distinct feeling we're about to go into some sort of boss encounter. There's so much off to the sides. Maybe this is the boss encounter. Yep! Oh my god, it's the big pony head, it's the pony tank! It's the Flintstones pony tank. <laughs> that music. But it's still dark. And you can fire projectiles. All right. Rounds on target. We gotta keep ourselves alive, too. Ow. It's just very hard, because your projectile moves very, very fast. No. Yeah! Come on, we must be doing massive damage, right? Where is it? Oh god, where is it? There it is! You're doomed. I must be the coolest final girl in horror, huh? And now and only now we can take our leave. See, that was called foreshadowing. That was excellent writing. Like Shakespeare up in here. The sky is full black and white. Does that mean we've stopped it? We stopped something, for sure. The man smiled as he walked through the abandoned parking lot, away from the pony factory. He'd found and stolen the source of the pony magic, and escaped with his life. He'd done what others thought impossible, and now he would succeed where his father failed. With the power of hell at his fingertips, he would create his own pony army, far larger and greater. All he needed were victims to transform, and a factory in which to do it. Hell had planned all this, and it smiled too, in anticipation of what was to come. Well, we learned nothing. See you in Pony Factory 2. <laughs> but anyway, that was the Pony Factory, and you know, for a couple bucks, can't complain. It was legitimately somewhat fun Doom-esque gameplay, and most importantly, I loved how it actually utilized darkness in its mechanics, how the muzzle flash is part of the game. Some very unique enemies, and of course the main selling point of this is the story and comedy and humor. The tongue-in-cheek nature is definitely where it gets its life from. I was trying to see what the other game modes are actually like, and it, it seems like it's just modifications to the base game. I actually clicked lights out and it doesn't seem to have changed anything. So I guess we'll see what happens if we cast ourselves into the pit. We, You are dead. Well, I don't know what I expected. Yeah, I don't know what Lights Out does. I imagine Iron Horse is an Iron Man mode where we only get one life. Which we would have won. And if you like this video, 
please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.